Howdy fellow Tenno, this is 10 easy Warframe tips and tricks that you should be doing every week. If you want to see the long version, click above at the card or look in the description. This is a shorter version of a video I already uploaded. Number one, every week, especially if you are a beginner, you should be doing the Maru's Ayatin Hunt. If you don't understand what this means, every single week you have a chance of getting a free sculpture, basically. You do have to complete a mission, but it's very simple. To get to Maru, in your navigation, click on Mars. Then you will see on the right, Maru's Bazaar. Go to any one of them, it doesn't matter which one. For this one, I am going to switch to Wukong just because it makes it a little bit easier. The faster Warframe that you have, the more mobile it is, the better. As long as you are quick and you know what you're doing, you can do it with any Warframe and you don't need any skills. You can just use the regular movements of the game. Okay, when you get to Maru, you just want to run straight. Go up to this person right here. If you are ready for the Ayatin hunt, click I am looking for Ayatin treasures. It'll give you an option if you are ready or not. This is basically the same thing as you starting a mission. In just about three to five minutes, you can easily get a sculpture. Another one that's still on number one will be if you want to help Clem. And I'm only going to address this because who doesn't want to help Clem? Why would you not want to help that beautiful little man? And why would you not want to have him fight next to you? You go to a strata relay, like for instance, go to Earth, go to any one of them. Okay, when you are in the relay, you want to fast travel to Darbo Dills. If you want to start the mission, all you have to do is click the very first thing. Does Clem need your help? If you were doing this for the night wave, go ahead and do it. It's very simple. Other than that, the only reason to do it is to get his specter. And ironically, number two is right across from Darbo. We're going to talk about going to Teshin. If you just got to the Strata Relay, go to the pause menu fast travel and go to Teshin. You want to come to Teshin every single week. You have to have Steel Path unlocked to be able to do this. But every week you want to come to Teshin and check Steel Path honors. There will be two different things that change every single week. They can be Riven mods, as you can see, Cyphers, which if you don't know what that is, if you like to open up ribbons and see what you get out of it, but there's a challenge that you just can't do or it's very hard you can use one of these and it automatically does the challenge for you you can get kuva there's endo there's so many things that you can get from teshin on a weekly basis if you don't need primary arcane adapters secondary arcane adapters transforma or any of the other things in the shop check these every week number three okay this is a very, very simple one. You can do it in a matter of 30 seconds and you can get great items out of doing this. Every single week, go to your navigation, go to Earth, and if you have Iron Wake unlocked, you want to click on Iron Wake. Once you're in Iron Wake, you want to run this way, to the very back, right through these doors, and you want to talk to the guy behind the table. Every single week, this guy will have two different Riven mods that are completely random, credits, and Kuva onto four. This is probably the best thing that Warframe has ever put out for beginners. You guys already probably know what I'm about to talk about, the circuit. If you don't know anything about the circuit, go to your navigation. At the very top right, you should see a weird looking face. Click on that. On the very left, the first option, the circuit. The circuit allows you every week to choose between three different Warframes that you want. So you can choose either Hydroid, Frost, or Ember for instance, and say you want frost, you click frost. Let's see what I picked, the circuit. Look at this, I picked Inaros. There is 10 levels to the circuit. You have to complete all 10 to be able to obtain the whole Warframe. But the thing is, every single level gives you 
a decent reward especially if you are a beginner because you might not have a lot of these mods and you definitely will not have a lot of these arcanes rank 2 will always be the neuropathy rank 5 will be the chassis rank 8 will be systems rank 10 you will get the blueprint and if you have steel path there is a lot of items that you can get i am not going to get into all the items that you can get in steel path because this is more meant for a beginner number five this is also one that not every new player will have you have to complete the new war and etc if you're able to complete the new war you will unlock it and if you're like me and you don't like sitting in the drifter camp go to your navigation go to earth and go to drifter camp It'll switch it. Once you're here, turn around and walk out of your ship. It'll teleport you a little bit and then walk right up this ledge, right up here. And you will see a couple fellas sitting up here. One of them being Call. He might not look exactly how mine looks. Mine looks hideous. I don't know what I did with him. I don't even remember doing it, but don't judge me. Every week there will be a new mission that you can complete being him if you want you can always try to unlock every item in the shop if you want to make some decent platinum do these every week buy out everything that you want yourself and then find out whichever one of these mods sell for the most buy them sell them you will make a decent bit of platinum number six i'm gonna give a little heads up the farther we go down the list each one kind of gradually gets harder, in my opinion. Number six would be Archon Hunts. These can be a pain if you don't have the right team. If you want to look at Archon Hunts, go to your navigation. At the very top right, the very last thing will be Archon Hunt. Click on that. Every single week, all of this will be completely different. Down to the Warframe, the weapons, the shard, all of it will be completely different. The reason why you want to do this is obvious. Look at that reward pool. Common, a sculpture. Probably the worst thing you can get out of here is a sculpture. That's saying something. Another common, Riven Mod. One of my favorite things, like I said. Save them up, sell them. Why not? Or use them. Uncommon. Here is my favorite of all of them. Three day booster. Three day booster. Every single week. You have a chance to run three missions, which can give you a three day booster that would normally cost platinum. This is why I normally want a ribbon mod or three day boosters because them are the only things that you have to spend platinum to get. But you can get 8,000 endo, 12,000 kuva, exilus warframe adapters, three formas. Not just one, but three of them. Orican catalyst blueprints and Orican reactor blueprints. You also have that like 0.000001 of getting a legendary core but the thing is the guaranteed reward is the biggest one no matter what you are going to get one of these rewards out of the common uncommon rare or legendary but you are always going to get one of them rewards and you are always guaranteed a shard whatever color that shard is that week you are guaranteed to get one of them okay number seven two things that you should be doing every single week are Netra cells and Deep Archimedia. All right, if you don't know where Netra cells or the Deep Archimedia is, go into your navigation, go over to Deimos and click on this because I'm not gonna try to pronounce it because I will butcher it, but click on this big person's head. All right, when you are in the place that I cannot pronounce, you want to fast travel. And yes, you can go to the Necrolist get here as well but you want to fast travel using the place i can't pronounce if you are looking for natural cells you want to go right here another one that i'm not even going to try to pronounce this cute little fella all you have to do is click natural cells you can do five of these every single week these can be very hard as you can see empowered enemies it makes them a lot stronger you have no respawns if you die it's all over you might as well just exit out and go restart again and also no consumables of any types but the rewards they've even been changed not that long ago which makes them even better especially if you're looking for shards or arcanes which if you're new you 100 need these look at that pool just common is 
an Archon Shard. So instead of having to do three missions like when you're doing the Archon hunts, you only have to do one mission to get a chance of getting an Archon Shard. Plus, it has the chance of it being Terraforged. Also with the common is a Melee Arcane, which hey, we can use all of them, right? An uncommon is a melee arcane adapter. Now, if you want to get to deep Archimedia, travel to Lloyd. That's what I'm going to call it because I'm going to butcher every name. I'm going to be completely honest. I have maybe probably run this one time. It's basically the same as running the Netra Cell. You get an Archon Shard, melee arcane, melee arcane adapter, or another Terraforged. And you have a lot of opportunities of getting them. Here's two opportunities of getting that. And then you have a gold chest that basically just makes it where there's a Terraforged Archon Shard in the common. Number eight, if you're still in the same place that you were, the same place that we were just at in number seven, all we need to do is go to fast travel. You want to go to the bird. Every single week, come to this bird, but make sure that you have standing. So make sure to run bounties and make sure to grab all the Voca you can as long as you're able to get 30,000 standing every week, which not everybody can do. And then you wanna to go to shiny treasures. As you can see, easy. It's almost like a free Archon Shard. Every week it'll be a different one. Number nine, this is something that I personally do not do, but I don't need Kuva. If you need Kuva and you like to roll ribbons, you want to do this one thing. Every single week, go over to Zerman and go into the Chrysalis. Doesn't matter which one you go into, obviously. Once you are here, you want to fast travel. You want to click the very bottom one, Yonta. Yonta. I told you I butcher every single name. That's why I don't normally say them. But you want to travel to Yonta. From here, you want to browse Archimedean supplies. I'm surprised that I could say that. Right there. Every single week, this resets and you can get more Koopa. 35,000 Koopa. Almost tempting enough for me to get it, even though I don't use it. Either way, if you use Koopa, come to this woman and trade in your pinions. You gotta make sure you have five. Okay, guys. This is the last one, and this one is very simple. Anybody can do this one. It is technically not a weekly one. It's technically bi-weekly, but you should be working towards it every day or at least every week. And what I'm talking about is Baru Katir. I hope I said that right. He comes to a different relay on a different planet every two weeks. This is one of the most important things you want to look out for and you want to be ready for. Like I said in my last video, what you should be doing every day, run relics every single day. Run at least one to five relics every day. At the end of two weeks, all of the extra prime parts that you do not need, you can change in for ducats or ducats, however you want to call it, and go trade with Baru. He has the best mods that you could ever find and it's the only place that you can find them and a lot of them are prime mods that would normally cost you a good bit of platinum to buy if you miss out on buying mods from him or the weapons or whatever else there is in his shop that you may want you don't know when that's going to be coming back into rotation it could be a whole entire year that it comes back run your relics maybe one to five a day you're a hundred percent gonna have enough to buy whatever mods you need or anything else in the shop that you need and all right we have finally made it to the end i apologize if this ended up being way longer than i thought all of them do every warframe video i do ends up being about 30 minutes long and i expect them to be about 10 but if you're still watching i appreciate you so much i just want to thank every single person in the community the warframe community for helping me get out of my show if it wasn't for y'all I don't know what I would be still doing right now. You guys have broken me out of my shell and I don't like to bring this into videos like this when it's so positive, but you guys have also got me out of my depression. And that is something hard for me to say, but you guys have helped more than you could ever imagine. And so I want to thank you. And that is another reason why I want to continue doing these videos is because I hope 
that I am helping you guys at least a portion of the amount that you guys are helping me. I'm trying to give back since you guys are giving to me. Again, if you're still watching, if I helped you out at all, please leave a like or not. It's just a polite thing to do, you know, you don't have to. And if you're not already, please hit that subscribe button. I will give a heads up though. I do not only post Warframe videos. It will be probably my top priority for a while, but I will still have a random variety of funny moments and other videos coming out here soon. So if you do not want to subscribe because it's not just Warframe, I completely understand and I will not be upset. But if you want to help out at all and hit that subscribe button, please do. I'll have content coming regularly. All right, enough rambling. I love you guys. I'm out. Huh. Never stop, I'll get it if I want it. Gotta make to myself a promise. I won't quit, keep going till I got it. I won't give up till I'm on top. Yo, no, I ain't the type to give up. If I do something, man, I do it till I get what I want.